Hey guys, Natalie Sheree here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, this video is all about my favorite fragrances. I have a few of my favorite perfumes and a few of my favorite, um, what do they call them? Body mists or whatever. Um, so I have a few to show you of both and without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started into the video. So I'm going to start with the perfumes first. So you know perfumes you, you wear when you go out um, for the day and you're going out on a date night or going out with your girls, just going out. Something special, special occasion, whatever. That's where your perfumes are for. I love perfume. I don't wear it that, that much, but I do love it. And I really feel special whenever I spray it. Um, my personal favorite, which people, a lot of people don't know about this one. <clears throat> and even a lot of people, I feel like when they spray it, they won't really get it to me. I don't know. I really love it. But this is my absolute favorite. It's from Anique Gatoul. Um, I can't pronounce it. It's the Petite Cherie and it's from France. I actually got a sample of this perfume in back in the day, I wanna say at least seven years ago, it was a sample in when I used to do Birchbox, which was years ago when you got those tiny little packets, not that much has changed. And you paid $10 a month, and I got a perfume sample, which I usually don't ever care about the perfume samples. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. So yeah, I usually don't care about the perfume samples, but for some reason I was inclined to like smell that one and I smelled it and I was like, whoa, that smells good. I used that sample till there was nothing left. So I knew I had to get the bottle, but it was expensive. And I wouldn't say Birchbox did have a good point system back then, but by the time I still couldn't, um, I still couldn't afford it. I was way younger back then. And so the point system, by the time I saved up enough points and then I had the money value, to buy it, they took it off the website. Couldn't get it on there anymore because you used to be able to save up your points, do interviews and stuff, and then you could use those points to make purchases in the Birchbox store. And of course, they took it out of the Birchbox store as soon as I had enough, enough money to get it. So I was looking on website after website, didn't sell it, didn't sell it. On their actual website, which is in, um, you know, from France, Paris, whatever, you can see it on there, even though they have an American version of the website where you can see everything in English, you can actually purchase it at least back then from them. So I had to find an authorized seller off of a Paris, France um, um, perfume online store and make sure it was legit and everything. And they shipped to the US. And so that's how I was able to get this. And it smells like so good. It smells like spring and summer. It has like, um, like a pear, oh God, I really should look up these descriptors. Y'all, I should have looked up these descriptors, forgive me, but I'll I'll put it in the link, uh, or I'll put it below a description what this one smells like on the descriptors. Maybe if I'll go and look at all of them, I can put that on there for you guys. But yeah, it smells like springtime in a bottle, it smells like pear and like fresh cut grass or something. It smells really good, it smells really clean. Um, not too fruity, not too florally. Um, I love it, it's perfect. Guys, I wish you guys would go through what I went through to get this bottle, because I think it's worth it. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. I could go on and on about how much I love that perfume. Next, my other favorite is, um, actually let me do this one. My other, my second favorite is actually the Rihanna fragrance. This is the uh, nude fragrance when she came out with perfume. I got it at Macy's, I'll never forget. I got it in like a set with the um, lotion and the shower gel as well. This smells so good. Like, again, I'll have to put the descriptor below, but it smells so good. Slightly sweet, slightly floral. Um, I don't know if it's slightly floral. Maybe, I don't know. It smells good, I can't really describe it. I'm gonna put the scent description below. So good, I actually have it in a body mist version. My best friend got me a two set version of. Um, again, smells very, very good. Let me see if it says on here, descriptor. Nope, doesn't say, but it smells amazing, guys. And also, she also has it in the Rebel Floor. And this one is like, to me, it's like the nighttime version of it. I love it. I actually only have this one in the mist. Smells really good as well, though. You can also wear it in the day, but I feel like it's a little um, nighttime -y as well. Love those. Uh, moving on to the Dolce fragrance from Dolce & Gabbana. It smells, again, really good. Slightly floral, slightly sweet, clean. I like clean, fresh scents with a little bit of sweetness. Not too much sweetness, not too much fruit, but not too much floral either. To bottom, smelling like grandma, like Elizabeth. Arden Diamonds or Elizabeth Taylor Diamonds, whatever. That's not my cup of tea. I uh, really, really love this. Again, I'll put it in the descriptor below on all of these, okay? I'm gonna do it on all of these. 
but it smells really good. If you guys haven't smell it, you know what I'm talking about. It smells so good. All these smell good, obviously, because I love them. Another favorite of mine is the Daisy one, and this is the Oh So Fresh, and does it smell fresh and clean? I love it, and God, I mean, guys, the bottle um, flower cap is super cute. I love it, love it. And as you can see, guys, I um, I spray it like tiny amounts. I need to wear it more often because all my bottles kind of look full, but um, I love fragrance. I do love fragrance, but, um, I don't know why my bottles are so full. I feel like they kind of never run out. It's funny. Okay, moving on to the mist. I have my favorite, um, and these are mainly from Bath & Body Works with one Victoria's Secret one. Um, Bath & Body Works Cotton Blossom. When I'm done showering, and I like to save these mists for when I'm going to work. Honestly, I work around babies. If you guys don't know, I'm an infant teacher, so it's probably why I don't wear my perfumes that much because honestly, I'm not trying to wear my fancy fancy stuff for babies and they're gonna drool all over me anyways. And it's frankly not necessary to wear a lot of fragrance on babies anyways because it can mess up their senses and stuff. So that's probably why my bottles are so full because I usually save them for going out or special occasions or whatever. And sometimes I wear them to work, um, light amounts, but not too much. But I usually save these types for my uh, mist for when I'm going to work or um, just going on a regular errand that's not a special occasion or when I'm going to bed, like after I shower, um, if I have mists that kind of correlate with the shower gel I used, then I'll do this. This is like what I do for nighttime as well. So I like a lot of um, clean scents even when I shower as far as shower gel. Um, and so this is like when I want to amp up that clean scent, Cotton Blossom it smells so fresh and clean, like clean laundry. It smells amazing. Um, cotton Blossom for Bath and Body Works, so good. They make good fragrance mists. Um, and then this one is from them as well. The white jasmine one. I actually have this in the shower gel as well. A little, it smells fresh and clean, but like also kind of like perfumey. I really like this one. Um, yeah, it smells really good. White jasmine from Bath and Body Works as well. And also from Bath and Body Works, a fragrance I actually did not appreciate till I got older. When I was a teenager and I was starting to use the lotions and the shower gels and the mists from Bath and Body Works, I wanted like warm vanilla sugar or something super fruity or El Margarita or whatever, super fruity scents. This one used to be the boring one and now that I'm an adult, I actually really love it. And it is no other than Sweet Pea. Smells so fresh and clean and a tiny bit floral, I love it. I have shower gel and lotions in the past as well. Go great with this. This goes great with anything. I love it. Sweet Pea, I don't know why it took me years to fall in love with you, but I have fallen in love with you and it's not going to go away. Sweet Pea. I'm lame. Okay, last but not least, Victoria's Secret Love Spell. Guys, you knew this was coming. You knew when I said Victoria's Secret, it was gonna be Love Spell. You had to have known. If you didn't know, why didn't you know? Love Spell is a cult favorite. Like, and this is that scent that you've loved ever since you were a teenager and you first got into Victoria's Secret scents and like, you know, Body Mist as well. It's probably everybody's first perfume or whatever. And for some reason, it still smells so good. It smells so bomb. This is like fruity scent that can, you can get away with. Oh, it says here, cherry blossom, fresh peach, impossible to resist. And that is true. This scent is, is so bomb. Like I'm gonna put on now. Mm, it just smells so irresistible, honestly. It's so good. You can't go wrong with Love Spell. Honorable mention from Victoria's Secret as well is Pure Seduction. That one also smells so bomb, so good. Again, a sweet one that I like. So good. And then I remember when I used to do that body scrub wash. Oh my gosh, so good. They need to come back with that if they haven't. They need to, but the shower gel lotion, the body scrub wash. Oh my God, I was in Victoria's Secret heaven with those. So yeah, those are my favorite, my current favorite um, scents that I have and um, stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoy this video and looking um, at my favorites. Tell me your favorites below. Tell me the descriptors of it, what should I should check out as well. And let's uh, see what each other likes in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Please make sure you hit the bell and stay notified of my upcoming videos. Um, also hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, you need to be. <laughs> Please subscribe and like the video guys and let me know how you enjoy it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.